Hey everybody, doing another one of the uh, Croc Talk podcast with Casper here, and uh, today we're going to talk about why is he sitting so still? It kind of sounds like a silly question, but I actually get this one quite often, and people ask, well, why don't they really move around a lot? Why do they sit so still? Why do they look like they're fake? And this is actually a, a technique that they use for hunting. So this is great for being an ambush predator, which is what these guys are. You know, when people think of alligators in the media, we always think of like, oh my God, they chase people, you run in a zigzag, they can run 30 miles an hour. Yeah, that crap is fake, that's not real. I've been handling alligators my entire life. I have never had one chase me faster than I can power walk to get away, even with a bucket of chicken in my hand. They're not running you down. Zigzag is completely fake and made up, okay? They're not running you down. Uh, what these guys are are ambush predators, and they're aquatic ambush predators. Again, they're not like running across football fields chasing prey down. So what they do is this. They sit absolutely still, and either they'll wait till the prey comes to them, or they'll move very, very slowly, imperceptibly until they can get close, and then they lunge. If you're being attacked by an alligator in a predatory sense, chances are you will have no idea the animal is there until it's got you. In fact, that's most predators. You know, again, when we have this idea of things chasing us, like humans are obsessed with being chased by things because that's movies, you know, like it's this really dumb obsession we have because of movies. So we always think it's going to chase you down or just to rant for a second. One of my biggest pet peeves, as much as I love uh, Jurassic Park and all these other like cool dinosaur or monster movies or anything like that, they always have the uh, the animal is going to eat somebody and it comes out and it does this roar and it's like, and then runs after them that is the stupidest thing i've ever seen from an animal behaviorist standpoint no predator will ever announce its presence before attacking they want you to have no idea they're there to get as close as possible and then lunge out and grab now if we're talking about territorial animals fighting each other con specifics that's when they roar at each other because they're trying to intimidate the other one to back down from the fight before it starts that's when lions are roaring at each other have you ever seen a lion roar at a gazelle no doesn't exist because he's hunting the gazelle he doesn't want the gazelle to know he's there he roars at another lion to be like my area this is a way to avoid conflict to roar to yell at them it's just like guys in a bar like oh yeah you want to go you want to go if you really wanted to go you wouldn't say a word you walk up and clock them right in the jaw you don't really want to fight you're avoiding the fight by trying to talk in the beginning and trying to uh basically it's a it, de-escalate really you know you're trying to talk it out first intimidate them not really talk it out but intimidate them and get them to back down by intimidating them and then you avoid actual physical conflict so that's what's really going on there so in a predatory sense though here are the peacocks up there by the way um so in a predatory sense though no predator is going to go up and announce his presence before attacking so that's what makes me crazy in all the movies when everything always roars before it attacks is the stupidest thing ever if you're being attacked by an actual predator you're going to have no idea it's there until it's grabbed you most likely or you get lucky enough to detect its initial lunge, like again, gazelles, they are fine tuned to be able to pick up on this. So when the lion first goes for them, they're gonna notice that initial uh, you know, lunge. And then if they get a second, they take off. That's when the chase happens. But the chase doesn't happen because the lion's like, hey bro, look at me, I'm gonna come at you. You better run. Like that's, that's stupid, that's not real, you know? So anyways, I'm, I, I had to rant about that for a second because it makes me crazy. So they're not going to roar. They're going to try to be hidden. They're going to try to make it so you don't know they're there and they're going to try to sneak up. So that is why they sit so still. He's trying to ambush, right? So right now he's moving around. He's obviously not trying to ambush me. But when they're hunting, what they're going to want to do is move just really, really slow, get really, really close, as close as possible. And then, bam, lunge out of the water, grab him, pull him back under the water death roll drown them rip them to pieces that's what they're going to try to do okay um but uh yeah now sitting absolutely still though is a great advantage for any crocodilian as an ambush animal because sometimes they're not going to creep up like that sometimes they're going to pick a spot that they know is a good spot to ambush and they're going to sit in that spot absolutely still for several days I've seen an alligator sit in the same spot without moving for three days as he's trying to wait out and, you know, hope for something to come into that area. So that's what I mean when I'm saying like being imperceptibly still is going to work out. It's like Guardian of the Galaxy, guys. If I sit so still, I become invisible. 
not really, but actually kind of close, you know? So that's why they do want to sit that completely, completely still like that, not be noticed. Um, and especially for crocodilians, they're so well camouflaged. They look like a log in the water. They look like, like, a, like the mud, stuff like that. So they don't get noticed. They sit that still and animals don't know they're there and they come up they get a drink and then they get grabbed you know you've all seen the videos of especially like nile crocodiles sitting at the watering hole they wait for a gazelle to come take a drink and just bam grab them you know and again that all comes down to sitting absolutely still and in that instance being able to hold your breath a long time too so uh crocodilians have been known to hold their breath for over six hours at a time and so holding your breath hanging out there waiting for them to come up and get a drink and then lunge out and grab them right so that's why they sit so still now in the human world again this doesn't make sense to most people because they watch movies and they expect things to run and roar and chase and all this dumb fake stuff that doesn't exist in the actual animal world um what's really funny though is how many people think that the alligators or crocodiles are fake. It's crazy. If it didn't move within 30 seconds, then it must not be real. You're gonna die in the real world. That's all I can tell you. If that's how your brain thinks, you will 100% be food in the post-apocalyptic world of wild animals. That's what I'm waiting for, guys. But but no, really though, um, you wouldn't believe it. Like at uh, one of, I'm not gonna name any names here, but at some parks, um, <laughs> this has happened, where uh, the parking lot goes right up to the actual wild Everglades and uh, wild alligators come out and sit in the parking lot and they see people all day, so they're used to it. They're not trying to ambush, they're just hanging out. And if they're used to people, then they just hang out, you know? And so multiple times there's been a wild alligator sitting there, not moving. And these people are so stupid that they think it's fake because it hasn't moved yet. And if it didn't move within 30 seconds, it must not be real. And they go and try to sit on the alligator, not making this up. This has happened multiple times. People are like, oh, it's not moving. It's not real. It's fake. It's plastic. And they go and try to sit on a real live alligator. Now, thankfully, their first instinct is to flee. They try to run away. Thank God they are not as aggressive as people think they are. If they were half as aggressive as people think they are, you'd have people dying out here every day because these people are unbelievably stupid. So they go, they literally try to sit on the gator and the gator just freaks out and dives back in the water. It's like, why did you touch me? You know, they're afraid of the people, thankfully. And the people are just screaming, freaking out, thinking the alligators just tried to attack them because they're morons, right? Um, sorry to be so derogatory, but there's not really any other good words for this. Okay? <laughs> I know somebody will be offended by that, but what I don't care. Really, though, it, you just cannot believe how this happens. And I, again, it's happened multiple times, you know, and people just they don't think that they're real. Or when I'm working with the alligators, even right now, I have people that like they'll come by and they'll see me in here and they're like, they'll, I'll hear them. They'll be like, that's not real, though. Like that's stuff. It's animatronic. Look how slow it's going. It's not real. You wouldn't believe how often I hear that. Or uh, when I'm working with like multiple alligators in the same enclosure and you know, the one I'm training at that moment is coming up for the food and responding to his name. You guys see the videos I do with that. But the other one's just sitting over there cause I haven't called him yet. And he, so he's just sitting still not moving. And people are like, oh, okay, so the one that you called is real, but that one's fake, right? What? Yeah, no, I, I have a real one and a fake one in the enclosure cause that somehow is a great, what? <laughs> so I've actually had that happen quite a few times. Really funny. Um, it's actually more than quite a few times, uh, dozens and dozens of times. I've had people think that the one that you saw move that I'm working with in that moment is real. The rest of them are fake though, because the rest of them haven't moved yet. You know, it's just crazy. So again, ambush animals, they like to sit still. That's what they do most of the time. That's what they do really, 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 really well. It's just hang out and not be noticed, okay? That's why they're so good at sitting absolutely still. And then when you're an animal like a crocodilian that can hold your breath for hours at a time, that's also obviously super beneficial too. He only breathe like his normal breathing rate is he'll take a breath like every couple of minutes. And so that really makes them look like they're, well, in natural habitat, like they're not gonna be noticed, you know? Or in the uh, human world, it just makes everybody think that they're fake, right? But uh, yeah, it's just a funny one. I figured we'd go over, you know? Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, you know, what you thought, uh, what other ideas you have for me to do more of these kind of long form videos to discuss topics on. And as always, you know, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next one.